Hi everybody! Look at who I have today. I have Peter Rabbit. And this is an animated rabbit and let us hear him talk. How do I do this? Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay, I guess you get the idea. This one will go on and on for quite a long time. Um, but it is one of, he is one of my favorite, favorite Easter toys. And whenever I see him, I remember from when I was a kid and, you know, I used to love this story so much. And I think of Easter. And so today I'm going to start doing some fun stuff related to Easter. So I will do some, I will try to make some Catbury chocolate Catbury Easter eggs, cream filled Easter eggs. And I hope you join me and I hope you like this episode. It's kind of a fun thing to do with kids. And um, anyways, I hope you stay tuned and watch and give it a try. And don't forget about St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, we'll do that another time. <laughs> okay, so thank you and stay tuned and we will be back very, very soon. Okay, so here we go. Here we get started. I'm going to show you first all the ingredients I have in this plastic bag, which I'm going to be taking the chocolate out of very soon. Uh, I have some cut up. The best quality I can find Belgian chocolate. You do not have to use Belgian chocolate, but the better the quality of the chocolate, I think the better the quality of the um, Cadbury eggs, Easter eggs. So I like to get Belgian chocolate for this. I have here at room temperature a quarter cup of butter sort of cut into chunks. I have some corn syrup, sorry, I have some corn syrup. I have some, I don't have vanilla, so I'm using pure almond extract. I have, um, this is a bowl of three cups of icing sugar. And here I have half a cup of corn syrup. And before I forget, I have this, which is yellow food coloring. So basically, I'm going to get started. And I'm just going to put the chocolate away. I'm going to focus on the butter here. And this butter, as I mentioned, is at room temperature. So I'm going to take the butter and I'm going to mix it with, as well as I can, I'm going to mix it. And I like to mix stuff when I'm baking. I don't know why. I, I like to do it by hand. Um, instead of using an electrical mixer. There are some exceptions to this, but generally I love doing all of this by hand. Maybe it makes me feel that I'm more, um, sort of more doing it the old fashioned way. And it's for some reason, it's a little bit more satisfying for me. So, and here's the almond extract. I'm just going to put the tiniest bit in just the tiniest bit for flavor. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this. And as I mentioned, the butter needs to be not from the fridge, but at room temperature. And while I do that, 
I'm going to take this icing sugar and slowly mix it in until I get all of it mixed in and it it will look very very it will be very very delicious so I'm just going to take my time and do this and, and I will be back once all the icing sugar is mixed in with this butter and corn syrup uh, mixture and I wanted to say before I forget last year I did this with maple syrup and I would not recommend that because the maple syrup is very dark compared to corn syrup and it made um, the inside of the eggs look a little darker than I would have liked so I'm just going to continue doing this and I will be back once I am done and so here I am in a separate pot melting very at very very low heat you do not want to burn your chocolate and chocolate it can burn very easily so very very low heat I am melting this beautiful milk chocolate and I have approximately a pound of it a pound I think some of it went into George's stomach unfortunately but we'll never know so I would like to think I have approximately a pound of chocolate here and I will let it uh, continue to melt and then I will cool it okay so back to the um, Cadbury uh, egg Easter egg filling I have my um, main filling dough if you want to call it that and it is going to be I'm going to be putting making them into balls and putting them in the fridge to allow them to set and here's kind of the fun part which is a third of that dough I took in a separate bowl and I added um, I'm gonna do this by hand it's a lot more fun to do it that way I think it's a little messy but it's a lot more fun and it's easier to do I find so basically um, what I'm doing is I took some about three to four drops of yellow food coloring because I like it to be this bright yellow uh, sort of a yellowish orange the color of your sorry about that and I like to do this if you can see by hand because then it's getting all the yellow is getting inside of it not just on the um, peripheral part the outside part of the dough it's getting inside the dough and so I'm going to do that continue and it, it's pretty much done so you can see that this is the lovely yolk and there is the um, white part the outer filling this is the inner filling so all I'm going to be doing is making these into little balls and putting them into the fridge to set and I will be back okay I'm back with some egg yolks and I think they look so cute and I've been making these for years and I have to say they're not super difficult you can do this um, recipe with children in fact I think it would be a lot of fun to do it with children but it's not super super easy because the um, humidity of the day when you're doing this will affect uh, or may affect the um, stickiness slash malleability of your uh, dough that you're working with so I actually had made these just a moment ago and they were a little bit too big and then I thought you know what I'm gonna make them smaller and I think this size is very nice I think they're cute and I'm going to be putting these in the fridge. In the meantime, my chocolate has melted. I'm going to be cooling that. And then I'm going to put all of this together, which is the exciting part. And I can't wait. I will be back. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone. So I want to start off by showing you all the ingredients as they look now. The chocolate has been cooled. And I wanted to actually show you this. If I was uh, more of a, I don't know, perfectionist who wants to just show everything in its best light, in its best form. I wouldn't be showing you this, but I, I want to show how this gives an idea of how the chocolate has melted, but it has also cooled a bit. So it's not hot, hot, in which case it would be burning the um, Cadbury Easter eggs. So we have the chocolate here. I will be dipping the balls or the eggs, I should say, into the chocolate. Uh, and we have our beautiful little uh, egg yolks, which the only thing I did was I took them out of the fridge and I sort of made them into rounder balls, as you can see. I think they look really nice. And we have Scooby wanting to uh, join us here. Okay, no, sweetheart. And then we have our, uh, what is it, the uh, 
the egg white part of the egg. And we, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a big chunk of that. And it's hard. To, I'm doing the camera work today, so it's a little tricky. But basically what I'm going to be doing is wrapping the uh, white filling over the egg yolk. And then I am going to be dipping in chocolate. So I will be back once I get myself a little more organized. Okay, guys, so this is not the best way to do it, but I do, I did take the filling, the egg white filling. You can see it got a bit of chocolate on it, but I did coat the egg yolk with it. And now I'm going to be dropping this and into my chocolate, and I'm going to be just coating it in the chocolate, and I will be repeating this process um, until I get all my eggs done. Okay, everyone, so I'm going to not eat all of these, but I'm going to eat some 99 of them. 99 of them. No, I'm going to eat some of them, and I'm sure you will help me. But uh, I just wanted Easter to say, eggs. Yeah, Cadbury Easter eggs. So I wanted to say uh, they're a little tricky, but they're a lot of fun to make, and I hope you give these a try, and they are worth trying. And it's fun making Cadbury Easter eggs at home. Anyway, so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. There's going to be a lot of interesting and exciting new episodes in the months to come. And uh, I hope you're going to stick around and watch them. Thank you and take care and God bless. Stay well and stay safe. Bye for now.